how are going my viewers and subscribers welcome back to Zion Guitar now if this is your very first time tuning into this channel I'm gonna ask you to go on right now and hit that red button down there hit that hit the notification bell hit also whenever I post a new video tutorial whatever I put here on YouTube you will be alerted this next tutorial is from Bitty McLean this one is entitled walk away from love it was originally done by David Ruffin lead singer of you know the mighty group temptations we all know motown my girl <laughs> yeah man so guess what grab your guitars let me show you how to play this one let's go Okay, my people, so we're gonna wrap this one up real quick. This one is very, very, very simple, you know what I mean? Very simple song, it's straight to the point, all right? And it's basic cards, three cards, all right? If you wanna add some slides and you wanna add a little bit of pull off and hammer ons and whatever it is, you can add that, all right? But um, this song is in the key of B, B major. So you're gonna be using a B, which is a one, you're gonna be using. C sharp minor, which is a two. You're going to be using an E flat minor, which is a three. And those are basically the three cards you use in the song. All right now, you can place it all over the guitar. B is here. So that's one, two, which is the C sharp minor, the three, of course, which I'll show you guys. Um, the E flat minor back to the C sharp minor. All right, now if you so choose, you can lift the pinky finger right and play minor sevens instead of playing just a straight minor. All right, so of course, let's show you to form this B. You want to come all the way up here, bar the whole seventh fret, place the middle finger on the third string, eight fret, pinky finger on the fourth string, ninth fret. Ring finger on the 5th string, ninth fret. And that right there is your B major. Now if you want to use this tool up here, just push this position all the way up and lift the middle finger like that. So back to the B major, push this position up and lift the middle finger. So you're gonna bar the ninth fret. That's what's happening. And then, of course, the three is here. If you go up another hole, so you're gonna be at the eleventh fret with the pointer finger. So it can be. It's not that I don't love you. Da 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 da. Back to the two. All right, so the card progression is one, two, three, two. All right, now I wouldn't use that. I wouldn't use this three here. I would use the one here, which is an E flat minor. All right, to get this minor, you want to bar the whole sixth fret, place the middle finger on the second string, seventh fret, pinky finger on the third string, eighth fret, ring finger on the fourth string, eighth fret. Now, like I said, if you want to get the minor seventh for this one, lift the pinky finger to start playing minor sevens. All right, so it's basically it. That's basically it. So if you want to play, da 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 da, da. then back to okay. That's basically for the song. So you're strumming. You know. And of course, when you hear me playing those, pay attention to this hand and this hand at the same time. 
When I go down, I mute. See that? So we're gonna, as I say, we're gonna wrap this up real quick. It's not hard. Now, of course, you can use that um, pinky finger to hammer on, right, on the first string, all right, of the 11th fret. You know, but like I said, I cannot make you guys skillful on guitar. I can show you guys, you know, what to play, right? You guys just have to get yourself into it. So, so you can do things like this. You know, then to the three. So in this case, your pinky finger is your best friend. Now, Mark, these are not in the song. All right, I'm just adding it. I'm just flavoring it up for you guys. All right, so that's basically for that right there. Now, if you want to start here with it, be here, of course, by the whole second fret. Place that ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the fourth fret. And you want to play from the this string. So you're gonna be da, da, da. now. This is a C sharp minor right here. All right. Then E. Now if you want to know to find the C sharp minor, it's the same thing as the E flat minor, but you don't hear. All right. So. You know how you can. So those are the cards, basically. There's nothing complicated to the song. You know, three simple cards. Just use those cards, mess around with them a little bit. Just remember to keep the feel, keep the reggae feel, strong reggae. So even though I show you guys this stuff, don't kill the song with it, you know, you want to still hold the main part. You can slide. You do those stuff. And that's basically it for the song. Now, of course, there's a stock line. A stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. Now, in this case, you don't really follow the bass, all right? It's kind of independent. So, I'm gonna play it slow so you guys can follow. So I'm back here at the B, but... So I start right here, which is an E flat minor, which is an E flat, all right? Not E flat minor, E flat, right there, so you go. Then you move up. Move up. Then you move back down. Yeah, man, that is how you play Bitty McLean, Walk Away From Love, Reggae Style. Now, if this tutorial was helpful, put it down there in the comment section. Recommend the channel. Recommend the channel to somebody. Hit the thumbs up button. Remember, this is most important to me and YouTube. You know, that's how they recommend my channel to other viewers and all. All right? Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to subscribe. My name is Zan. See you next time. Blessed love, peace out.